Pain is another very exciting area of uh, current interest and development uh, because in 95 we and another lab cloned a P2X3 receptor which seems to be almost exclusively localised on sensory nociceptive fibres. And uh, when we developed this uh, story, it turns out that uh, it's a new approach to pain because instead of like morphine interrupts the pain pathway in the spinal cord level and so on, ATP is the initiator of pain uh, on the nerve endings and it's released locally. We started uh, by uh, looking at the tongue. We knew the tongue is very hurts with if it's hot, if it's burnt, and it hurts if, it, um, if you bite it. We took out the tongue with the sensory nerves attached, and we recorded from the sensory nerves when we heated the tongue, and there was a big uh, electrical discharge in these sensory fibers, and um, this response was mimicked by ATP applied to the tongue and largely blocked by ATP antagonists. So this was the first hint that uh, this might be a, a, a mechanism. And then we move to the bladder and to the ureter. One of the most painful things you can get is a stone in the ureter. And, it, and in the gut, if you get colic gut, these are all very painful things and it's always distension. During distension, ATP is released uh, from these lining urothelial cells, epithelial cells in the gut, and there's always been a mysterious subepithelial sensory nerve plexus, and we've shown with immunohistochemistry that it's loaded with P2X3 and P2X23 heteromultimer receptors. So the ATP released acts on these receptors on sensory nerves, which send the message through the central nervous system to the brain areas and record pain. The evidence is powerful, and this is very exciting. Of course, the search is on now for a P2X233 antagonist, um, which w might be uh, open up a whole new uh, way of dealing with certain kinds of pain, that uh, some kinds of pain morphine is not effective against. And this looks very interesting, I think particularly for visceral pain.